Hello and welcome to VCSP how to videos. In this video we're going to talk about adding vSphere and VMware Cloud Director infrastructure. To start with, Vim Backup Replication is a centerpiece to backup and restore workloads running in vSphere, Hyper-V, Nutanix, physical, virtual infrastructures, so it's a centerpiece of all of it. So in this video we're gonna touch on how to add the source infrastructure practically the one from which we are making backups and to which we are making restores. In this video specifically we're going to discuss eSXi, vCenter as well as VMware Cloud Director servers. So though the ports which are required are listed here, you can also open the video description to check out all of the necessary ports you need to add depending on your platform. In terms of the platforms which are supported, um, they are listed here. Again, it's based on version 11a requirements. Uh, on the Hyper-V side, you can see on the right-hand side. Uh, in general, all of the system requirements up to date are published on our help center in platform support section. In terms of the use cases, um, you need to add the source virtual infrastructure for vSphere, VMware Cloud Director, or Hyper-V um, in almost all of the use cases. If we are talking about service provider data protection, that's your hosting environment. If your hosting is running one of the named platforms, then you need to add this platform in order to start back backing them up. In MSP Backup, if your tenants are using virtual infrastructure, you need to add it to your backup and replication server. In terms of the off-site off backup, it might not be actually needed for you. If your customers are managing themselves and backing up some data and pushing it out to the Cloud Connect backup platform, uh, which you run, uh, you only need to deploy repositories, so it might not be necessary to deploy a vSphere or a VMware Cloud Director infrastructure. So all you need there is practically a repository added to the Cloud Connect server. On the other hand, if we are talking about just a recovery as a service, uh, it's where your customers are replicating their machines to your platform. So if your customers are running Hyper-V, then you need to add your Hyper-V platform, which are located in your hosting. If your customers are running vSphere, then you need to add your vSphere platform or your VMware Cloud Director if you're replicating from tenants vSphere to your vCloud Director platform. For um, both of the latter use cases, public cloud data protection and software as a service data protection, you don't need to add uh, your virtual infrastructure to the backup replication server. Moreover, backup replication server, is min server might not be involved in those scenarios. So now let's jump into the demo and take a look at uh, how to add infrastructure to a backup server. Now we're looking at the backup replication installation version 11a. So let's add some source components in order to make backups happen. Go to backup infrastructure. Here we can click manage servers. Under Manage Servers, we can select vSphere, and here we can see our vCenter, which was already added. If you need to add a new one, you click Add Server, and you have exactly the same wizard as I have here if I added the existing one. First, you need to specify the DNS name of your vCenter server, then you click Next. Here, you need to provide credentials with uh, all of the permissions required, which are stated in the user guide, link in the description. And then you can specify the port to communicate with uh, VMware Web Services and then click Apply. Once you click Apply, we will check the configuration of this vCenter server, uh, perform the checks of the permissions and if everything is set up correctly, it's going to be added to your backup application installation. So you as a tenant can start backing up your vSphere infrastructure or a service provider can, for example, uh, protect the infrastructure as a service environment. So now the recording was saved correctly, we click Next and click Finish. So now you have this vCenter server and you can start using, uh, start creating your backup jobs with the VMs located on this vCenter server. Talking about VMware Cloud Director, let's move on to the second installation which we have, which is a Cloud Connect installation. So on the Cloud Connect server, um, as you can see, UI is the same, it's the same product, the difference is the license, and by the license we open up new capabilities to be a receiving end. 
So if we go to backup infrastructure, here we have the same menu, but let's for example add the VMware Cloud Director infrastructure here. So I'll click the properties of the existing one, you can click add, specify the DNS name of the Cloud Director server, uh, the URL will be generated automatically, though you can change it. Uh, next, you specify the credentials to, uh, with administrator privilege to Cloud Director. Then you click Next. It will enumerate all of the underlying vCenter servers uh, and you can provide individual set of uh, credentials to each of the vCenter servers. In my case, it's only one vCenter and this vCenter is already added here. So that's why it set, already set the credentials. Otherwise, by default, it will try to use the credentials from here, but you can always have a specific set of credentials, again, depending on your security policies, etc. Now I click Apply. So the item will be added to the infrastructure. And once it was added, you click Next and Finish. So as we're looking in the Cloud Connect infrastructure, here I can have a Cloud Connect tab. In the Cloud Connect tab, apart from all of the usual suspects like Cloud Gateways, and uh, replica resources and so on. Now I can have replica organization VDCs and uh, VDC, uh, VCD tenants. So in order to add not a standalone but a VMware Cloud Director tenant account, you just click here. And instead of creating a net new tenant, you will just select it from the, uh, from the selection of your VMware Cloud Director organizations. So that way VMware Cloud Director integrates with Cloud Connect installation, but it also can integrate with the regular backup replication installation in the way of self-service portal. You have, we have other videos prepared on that topic, so stay tuned, check out other videos in how to section. And as of this section, that's it. Thank you very much for tuning in. Goodbye.